11.58 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time 23.58 Preamble Mike Keitner Day 9 and we have our first crisis of this World Cup. An official crisis. And it belongs to Argentina. Croatia's stunning 3-0 win has put them on the brink of a humiliating exit and plunged the proud footballing nation into a state of emergency. Plenty more to come on that over the coming hours, including reports the players want manager Jorge Simpali out of the door before the final group game against Nigeria. You wouldn't bet against it. Elsewhere, reaction to an improved Australian performance that very nearly saw them take three points off Denmark has been far kinder, with the Australian football community delighting in the survival of a dream, even if the Socceroos' hopes now lie out of their own hands, for they must now rely on France, who found the right mix of style and substance in their win over Peru, beating the Danes on the final match day in Group C. Again, more to come on in due course. In today's games, Brazil continue their redemption mission against Costa Rica, Nigeria meet a bullish Iceland and Serbia play Switzerland under the shadow of Kosovo. For the build-up stick with me and then Ben Fisher before Brazil and Costa Rica kick off in St. Petersburg, as which point we'll have individual live blogs as follows, 1 p.m. British Summer Time, 3 p.m. Moscow Time, 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, Brazil v Costa Rica 4 p.m. British Summer Time, 6 p.m. Moscow Time, 1 a.m. Saturday. AEST, Nigeria, v Iceland 7 p.m. British Summer Time, 8 p.m. Moscow Time, 4 a.m. Saturday AEST, Serbia v Switzerland throughout the course of the day, evening, whatever it is where you are, feel free to get in touch on email, mike.heitner at theguardian.com, or Twitter, at mike underscore heitner, or below the line. Meanwhile, why not sign up for the World Cup Fiverr?